my name is Zambra, and today we are here with our very first double episode! That's right, we are going to be watching episodes five and six of Miraculous Ladybug. We are watching Time Breaker and Mr. Pigeon. Very different episodes, but apparently, I guess they both aired originally on the same day in France, so... I don't think these episodes have a lot to do with each other. It's just coincidental. Apparently their air dates were the same. So I decided to put them together. But the little caveat thing with that is I am not going to be doing a lot of double reactions. I just want that on the table. Just don't get your expectations up. When I find that maybe an episode or two might go really well together or if I have extra time in my schedule and I can kind of plan around that, I will try to do two episodes, but that will happen very infrequently, just so you guys are aware. My personal goal is I would like to finish season one by the end of this year. And I know what you're thinking, like, wow, but like that's a lot of time. But this is still 24 episodes. That gives us basically September, October, November, December. Four months to finish 24 episodes, which is kind of a lot for me to edit down. Of course, we have a few extra days because I started it in August, but just keep your pet in mind. I can't talk. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I'm super excited to watch. I hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind to go support the official release of Miraculous Ladybug on Netflix or in other countries. It's on Disney Plus as well. Whichever works, just support the official release, please and thank you. And of course, guys, if you like my content, you can check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to get access to my full timer reactions over there. We are two episodes ahead of Miraculous Ladybug if you really want to watch more. But without further ado, let's get started! Okay. Alright. Well, with or without? Uh, oh. You're sure it's not better without? Either way, you look perfect, Mom. Mom, oh, you look no. so good! Every day you celebrate your 20th wedding anniversary. Wow. Oh. Oh. That's really cute. And that's awesome. 20 years. That's crazy. Now don't forget, Mrs. Shamak will be coming by to pick up the Eiffel Tower cake in 30 minutes. I'm depending on you. Yeah, yeah, oh. no sweat. Piece of cake. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Hmm. How is she getting that to her place? That looks like a very... Ill balanced cake. Aww. Hey. <laughs> Darmanin's parents, you know, one of the chicks I hang out with. Yes, oh. I love them. They make the best bread in the whole of Paris. Oh! <laughs> what a compliment! Could Dang. you made more of an effort to dress nicely? What do you mean? I took off my cap. But this is a special day. <laughs> I took off my cap, oh hon. This family heirloom was made by one of our ancestors many, many years ago. It's been passed down from one generation to the next on their 15th birthday. Ahead of his time. A witch. Your ancestor was a witch. Oh my gosh. Burn the witch. Are your friends waiting? Yeah, but I don't want to bail on you. It's cool. No, no. Go ahead. Aww. You're a good dad. You know, I judged you when you were judging daughter. But I'm proud of you. You're a good dad. That's nice. Oh, yeah. What's up, girl? Hey, I love you. What's up? What? The bed between Alex and Kim? No, of course I didn't forget. I already made the bag for it. I know everyone's counting on me. In five minutes? No sweat. I'm on my way already. Be right there. Oh boy. So she married that she had to wait for Mrs. Shamak to pick up her cake. Go! I've got 20 minutes before she gets here. I told them I'd take care of the banner and they're all counting on me. Oh no. Besides, Adrian will be there too. Ooh. You'll never make it to Trocadero in five minutes. It's way too far. Not too far for Ladybug. Marinette, come on, honey. You're Ladybug. Like, won't someone see? Looks like Alex isn't even showing up. Probably too chicken to race an extreme athlete like me. Spoke too soon, Kim. Hey! Your ridiculous bets are over. I'm gonna leave you in the dust, meathead. You're no match for me. My neck is bigger than your thigh. <laughs> is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on to this for me, will ya, Alia? I don't oh, want to drop it during good, the race. Oh, good. Smart. 
Hold on, girl. I can't. I gotta guard it with your life. It's a family heirloom. Just but... put it in your pocket. Marinette, take this. I gotta record the race for my blog. On your mark? But she's holding the banner! <laughs> but she's you look after it. I gotta yeah. hold the banner. I'm pretty sure you're blocking your camera with your fingers there, Alia. You need any help? Aww. Yes, please. Gotta be careful, even if you are amazing. Oh. Uh, holding things in your hands. Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. What you got there? Yeah. So super old no. case or something? No, 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 Oh. Chloe is the worst. I call a rematch. That false start back there threw me off. Did you do this? As if I totally had nothing to do with this. You're all to blame. God, Chloe. I just. <laughs> I hate her. Oh, I hate her. Alex, wait, Marinette. Why is she going shots? after her? There's still time. Honey. Oh, does she know that she'll probably get akumatized? <gasps> that'd be cool. Can we prevent it from happening? Oh, that'd be so cool. Is that what we're doing? <gasps> Maybe we could fix it. This watch was sick, one of a kind. It can't be fixed. Well, there has to be a way to get it back to the way it was. Like how, huh? Go back in time and change the future? Uh, when you figure out how to do that, let me know. All right. Just trying to help. Uh-oh. This can't be good. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we were going to prevent it. Never mind. Oh. Now. Oh, I'm the go back pattern on the leg went watch. up. Using all you folks to do it. Oh. Go back in time? What did you do to Cam? Why is he fading? I needed his energy. Besides, the dude was a pain anyway with all those bets. He deserves to disappear forever. Oh? We got to transform. Now. Okay. But the, 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 the cake? The Eiffel Tower cake. Your parents' business and reputation, though. The one thing you were supposed to do. You won't be able to stop me where I'm going, ladybug. Let me guess. You were all playing the game of tag and you're it? Exactly. Don't want to touch you. Miss me. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> now, time breaker. I'm her miraculous. Her earring. <laughs> with her. Interesting. Who are you? Uh, uh, I don't really have time to explain right now, but I'm you from just a few minutes in the future. Uh, she's right. I can feel it. She is you from the future. Crazy. <laughs> Listen, I know it seems only by like but trust me. 10 minutes. Mrs. Shamak will be early. Just leave now and make sure to take care of the cake. Don't Aww. worry. Ladybug can handle this single-handed. <laughs> How do I get myself into these crazy situations? <laughs> okay, that was really cute. I like that. Hmm. Tiger Water, I can't explain that, but we've got to capture Time Breakers of Coma. Your life depends on it. Which life? I've got nine. Oh my god. Sorry again for making you wait. <sighs> Mission accomplished. You mean mission number one accomplished. Time for mission number two. Once we get the energy from these two, we'll have enough to go back in time together and get our watch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey! Hey, you two, need a hand? Thanks! Wait a minute!
you thinking what I'm thinking? No, I'm not. I never understand what they're going to do. Am I dumb? I'm so confused. My bad. I was just getting used to having two ladybugs around. Well, now you're gonna get used to no ladybugs around. Oh. Gotta split before I change back. <laughs> She'll fall for me someday. It's just a matter of time. You know, that's a uh, Stockholm syndrome. adorable i like that episode all right so time breaker was an interesting episode simply because of the fact that it shows that time travel is possible in a thing which kind of allows us an idea of what we can expect from other akumatized individuals because if we can go back in time that does kind of open up this Almost like a, a monkey barrel of possibilities. Because how many people sit there and weep and weep and weep like, Oh, I wish I could have done this or I wish I could have did that. And with this, you know, it allowed you that possibility. You literally could go back and do that thing you wanted. So very interesting. I'm curious to see what the show will do with that. And uh, what other possibilities arise from that? It's very interesting. Um, I like Alex. Alex was a nice character. Uh, slowly, we're kind of learning more about uh, our classmates, things like that. I feel like we have not been in school much. <laughs> Do we attend school? Little concerned. Uh, and then, yeah, we got to see parents. Parents married 20 years. Like, what a fun little thing to add in there. It's really cute. Um, especially, I think I just saw a statistic that most marriages only last, like, eight years. So, good for them making it 20. I don't, I think that might have been American marriages. I'm not sure if that was global or just America. Not sure. So, don't quote me on that. But it was, like, eight years only. But... A really fun episode. The watch, pocket watch, like what the hell? Why was that like a necessary part to include? Like, <laughs> your grandparents were witches? <laughs> because uh, that technology wasn't there. So that's just not possible. She was like wearing a bonnet and stuff, like... <laughs> That's old. So I don't, I think your dad's lying to you. I think your dad's a dirty liar. <laughs> I wouldn't believe him. I think he's delusional. Or your grandparents and lineages, which is their witchcraft. <laughs> but overall, a really fun episode. I am still upset at Chloe. I feel like she, is she, okay. Is she just going to be the main reason why everyone gets akumatized? At this point, I feel like it is. Besides for Nino's, I'm already feeling like she's just like one of those characters who's going to be like a total bitch. <laughs> and just going to like ruin everything for everyone. She just seems like the worst. And I honestly, I, I probably would get akumatized within minutes of being around her. I cannot stand people like that who can't accept, like, their own responsibility in things. It really makes me upset. So, I'll be interested to learn more about her. Because from everything we've seen, she's just mean. So, I don't know. Okay, we are going to be watching Mr. Pigeon. And three, two, one. Go! 
You only have one day to work on your fashion piece, and it must be your own design. In ten hours, your finished presentation will be judged by none other than the great fashion designer, Gabriel Agrest, the father oh. of our very own student, Adrian Agrest. In fact, Adrian will model the winning design in his next photo shoot. Oh! And now to announce this year's theme. Derby hats! Derby hats? You know what? It won't even matter because I'll probably make Why? Derby hats are cute! I'm also going to over my stupid derby and collapse on Mr. Agrest! Give him a full blown concussion and Adrian will hate me! We'll never be a world renowned fashion designer! My life is over! Wow! I'll probably mess everything up in the end. Wow, Honey. Oh, yeah. Those were some awesome designs! I didn't know you had such mad skills! Uh, thanks, Adrian, but I can't take the credit. These sick designs belong to Marinette. Off the chain, right? You're super talented, Marinette. You seriously have a good chance of winning. Well, um, yeah, I like, um, designs that, um, go upwards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah um, sure. Well, I mean, I mean uh, uh, well, thanks. What the fuck is wrong with you? Adrian thinks you're good enough to win. <laughs> Did you hear how impressed Adrian was with Marinette? Of course I heard. Okay, y'all need to stop stalking them too. As soon as I can get my hands on this sketch pad. Oh no. Well, we have nine hours until showtime. Yes! I'm off to my secret garden of inspiration. I'll see you later. Let's go! I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh? The time has come for us to find our next victim, my wicked little accumulus. What? Wait, we haven't even seen anyone. must be mine. We legitimately have not seen someone. Like, it's sad yet. Oh. Huh. Well, happy day, happy day. No! We need the Aww. He just she wants to be around the pigeon. What a neat character. Poor Mr. Rami. The feeling of injustice. Oh, so we aren't only doing like our classmates. We are doing random people. <laughs> Animals? Huh. Cool. What are you looking for? A feather. I forgot to pick up a pigeon feather for the hat. It has to have a feather. Oh, and that's how we find out about Mr. Pigeon. Uh oh. Oh god, is this Edgar Allan Poe? Oh no, the birds! The birds! Crow! Crow! Sorry to ruffle your feathers, but Paris now belongs to the pigeons! Crow! Crow! This guy is crazy! Oh my god, but I kinda like him! It's so innocent! Birds of a feather flock together! Oh I'm allergic to feathers. Oh! Tell me about it! If you want to give Paris back to the pigeons for good, you must first rid the city of those two pests. Oh boy! Oh my goodness, oh. They're so cute, oh. What the hell? Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Well, well, looks like the pigeons really chicken. Oh. If we can destroy that bird call, we'll be able to capture the Akoma. Okay, you open the window. I'll grab him and yank him up onto the roof. Then you snag his bird call away from him. Let's go. Early bird gets the worst. <laughs> oh. 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 So much for the young men of surprise. These allergies. Like, bro, go get yourself a Benadryl. Like, come on. Oh, wait, there, Paris. You can't do that. You have to talk to a doctor and stuff first. And they'll suggest what's good for you. Instead of in America, where we have 
advertisements for drugs and it's like, ask your doctor. It's like, I would like to take Mucinex XD. Can you please give it to me? Okay, okay, okay. Smart, smart. <laughs> but of course, couldn't be that easy. <laughs> nice, good job. <laughs> that was really clever. Just being like, Boop. <laughs> I like that. It's just quick thinking, and I appreciate that. So I'm trying to be like, get it. <laughs> Did you just say you didn't like the pigeons? Bro, what's up? Why? They're just animals. Let them be. Where is that girl? Hello, Mr. Damocles. Hi, Mr. Agrest's executive assistant, Natalie. Oh. Hello, miss. The Pardon feather. me, but uh, where is Mr. Agrest? I'm here. Huh? Where have you been? You got your hat? Yep. Here. <gasps> what? But it's the same as Chloe's. What? Hmm. Uh, hi, Mr. Agrest. I'm, I'm Chloe Bourgeois. You know my father, Andre Bourgeois, the mayor. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Do you want me to take care of it? I think I can handle this. Oh? Hmm. Turn the tablet back to Miss Bourgeois' hat. Is this a joke? <gasps> By design, it's scandalous. How could you do that? <laughs> I apologize for the situation, Mr. Grass, but I can prove that this derby hat is my original design. I signed mine. Uh... <laughs> oh, clever! Congratulations on your demonstration, Miss oh. You're the winner. <gasps> Adrian will wear your derby on our next advertising campaign. Awesome job, Marinette. Thank you! Uh, uh, sorry, I'm allergic to feathers. Oh my god, she's so clueless. Oh, the card! I love end cards, they're so fun. <laughs> Okay, so Chloe is the worst. Like, ugh, I cannot even, I just, she's already like getting under my skin and I've only seen her a few times and I just can't stand her. So that's good. Like the creators, writers did a good job with her cause she's just annoying. And her dad's the mayor. So like, of course she can kind of get away with doing whatever she wants. But I'm glad that uh, the derby hat situation turned out well. That um, basically Marinette didn't need to take the fall or anything. Like she was like, I have a special thing in my design that has my name in it. Which is really cute. I like that. That's a nice touch. And Adrian's going to wear your hat and it's going to have your name on it. Like, ah, girl, good for you. <laughs> like really fun for her, honestly. So... I think it's really cool. Uh, along with that, yeah, the Mr. Pigeon. Odd. Endearing, but odd. I, I mean, I, he didn't really seem like he actually wanted to intend harm. It's just he wanted to be with his pigeons. He was sick of people kicking him out and not getting to be with his pigeons. A simple wish, truly. <laughs> But alas, was too much. They are dirty. It causes a lot of problems. And if you feed them, they will keep coming back. So you're not supposed to feed them. But I don't know. Like, if he's at a park, okay, at a park, I think it's fine. He was at, like, a, you know, a, the, like, not really a park, more so like a, I was going to say Natch, a, a tourist place. So, like, no, he probably shouldn't have been feeding the birds there. So, I, I, I understand the park officer dude, like, being there. But at the same time, like, 
Bro's been kicked out of parks. Like, just let him feed the birds, please. That's all this man wants in his weird bird-like self. It's, they're his friends, so just let him be. He's not causing you trouble. That was kind of sad. But I do like that, like, Hawk Moth, just like, before we even knew who was going to get akumatized, he was just there and he's like, time to akumatize someone. It's like, okay, but like, who? Bro, who? Like, you are really on the ball today. Like, I don't even think a ball has rolled into your court yet. But yet, somehow, you were like, I'm gonna get the ball today. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> How bold of him to assume someone will feel somewhat depressed and anguished in all of Paris. So, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. But... Um, I am to assume that Hawk Moth has one of the uh, miraculous things since he knows about them. And since it seems like uh, Mr. Gress, Adrian's dad, is Hawk Moth, I think I can just assume that. Um, since we can kind of assume... That fact, I'm guessing he must have a miraculous that he just changes into because he seems to have the magical powers. So I would assume he needs something pretty powerful as well to be able to do that. And that seems like something another miraculous could do. So I'm curious as to why he wants the other two miraculouses. I don't know what that does for him. I'm guessing just more power but why does he want the power? Very odd, so. Don't know. I'm interested to continue learning and see what's going on, but at this point, don't know. Uh, along with that, poor Adrian slash uh, Chat Noir for being allergic to the feathers. Like, that's so sad. I am thankful I never really had allergies. Uh, just happened to not get them from my mom's side. So I feel bad for anybody who does have allergies. That just sounds like the literal worst thing. So RIP Adrian, I guess. <laughs> you were the true one, man. Oh, but I'm really enjoying Miraculous. I just want to make sure that's super clear. I actually really like the show so far. It is very fun, very goofy. Yes, it has that, like, formulaic, I think that's the word I'm looking for, like, system, but I don't mind that. It's kind of very Kolioko, and I like it, so I'm not going to complain. It's fun. I like that I kind of can assume what we're doing, so overall having a fun time, so... I want to thank you all so much for supporting these videos. It really means so much. I'm glad so many people are just so excited for me to watch this show finally. It makes me really happy and it helps helps get me kind of hyped up to watch it as well. Because we do have a ways to go. Like a ways. So it's going to be a bit of a long ride to get there. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll get through it. And honestly, I mean, with DuckTales being done... It is nice to kind of start something else that I have wanted to watch for a while and a show that I am curious about and does a good job. Like, I know some people may hate Miraculous Ladybug, but I think the general consensus is even if you hate it, you probably still like it. <laughs> like, you're probably still watching this show. Why? I don't know. But it's that hate love. And so it makes me interested to see why so many people are in that weird limbo. Hate loving this show. <laughs> I'll be excited to see what I think as I continue on. So thank you guys so much. Please remember to support the official release. And of course, if you like this content, please make sure to like, share, subscribe. All that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you all later. Bye.